Hey, 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 fans! Welcome along once again to the Barry Steak Fries blog with me, Barry Steak Fries, here with you. Once again, we got lots to get to, lots of questions to answer. Uh, just wanted to clear up a little something before we start. There are some rumors going around that I have, in fact, been dropped from my record label and that the Barry Steak Fries solo album is not coming out. Those rumors are not entirely true. All right, now I want to just reassure everyone that the Barry Steak Fries solo project, Stakeout, is still very much probably going to be definitely coming out very, very soon. So don't lose hope. Unless you want to Dan the Man singing backing vocals, then you should lose hope because <laughs> I don't think so, Dan. I do my own backing vocals. I go a bit of this, and then a bit of... That's right. Drop me from my record label. Anyway, let's get straight into it today. There's been a few comments floating around on the on the same uh, the same topic. So let's just let's just knock this on the head right now. First comment here from Dracommon. Barry's voice doesn't sound as I expected, honestly. I hoped I like more manly voice, like in the rock operas. Half Brick used that guy's voice. The one in the songs. Robot Bird, for example. Well, Dracommon, you're right. You're right. That guy had an awesome voice and they totally should have used that guy. He was great. Wasn't he so manly? I just love the way he sings, sings that stuff, you know. I got a robot bird that shoots money! That was awesome, the way he sung that. Um, I need some new shirt sleeves, please! That was great as well. That guy rules. Love that guy. They should totally bring him in. Now... Next one, Lego guy. Why the British accent? I thought he would have a more rough 30 year old guy's voice. Ah, uh, the 30 year old accent. We all know the 30 year old accent, don't we? My parents had a really strong 30 year old accent until they moved into their 40s. Uh, come on, mate. Lego guy, it's not even a British accent, all right? It's Australian, I work for Half Brick. They're an Australian games company. They're in Brizzy, Brisbane, maybe, for those of you who are not from Brizzy or Australia. It's a city in Queensland, which is the home of many famous Australian celebrities like Corky Taylor and Sam Socket Set Williams and Barry Steak Fries. I could go on, but uh, yeah, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bit of a defensive start to the show there today, so let's... Uh, oh. Been a bit stressful. Been working really hard on this solo album, which I've now got to fund somehow. Anyway, let's just calm it down. Let's have a look. What a, what else have we got here? What else have we got here on the on the Barry questions? PL guy says, "Where's the other half of the brick?" I don't know, PL. Maybe it's maybe it's over in Britain with the Lego guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll drop it. Sorry, fans. Let's move on. Mawa Trumped. Is it just like the French fries? Thanks, Mawa, but it's steak fries. Steak fries. A thick and juicy cut of fry. Just like me. Thick and juicy. And fried. And berries. Oh, berry French fries. Making fun of my name now, are we? Internet? Great. Last time it was, I'm, I'm ugly. This time my name's no good. What is it with the internet? You told me guys on the internet were nice. You promised me the internet was friendly. Come on here to get abused. Well, I can abuse back, Mawa Trumped. I can make up a food for you. Ma Ma Mawa Strawberra. Uh, hang on. Lisp of foods Trum. turn it turn no no mama mama Trum. truffle probably no ah uh, ah uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry let's move on forget it eric mendoza oh my god it's barry steak fries i can't believe it's actually him I've been a big fan of you ever since the first day the game came out. 
But Barry, I have one question. What happened to your glasses in the trailer? Don't you need them to see? Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what the internet's for. Some praise for me, Barry Steak Fries. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks for being a big fan. And I got a funny story for you about those glasses. Uh, funny story for everybody, actually. Unless you're going to make fun of me, in which case you're not allowed to listen to the story. But uh, look, Eric initially couldn't see a whole lot without those glasses. Uh, but one day, I was unboxing the laser jetpack and uh, didn't realize it already came with the batteries installed. So I pressed the throttle and BAM! 2 million exowatts right in the cornea. That'll sort your vision out, I tell you. Instantly, actually. I was, from that day on, 2020 vision. Although I do sometimes wet my pants and taste colors every now and then. But I couldn't recommend that highly enough. Just bit of laser in the old eye, all right? Get it into you. It's great stuff. Next question, Brandon X22. This is so awesome. I've been a fan of Barry for years and years. I'm 24 now and on my 18th birthday, I was actually gonna dress up as Barry, but chose to do Batman. Apologies from my past self. Ha ha ha. I hope Halfbring never kills Barry off. Just put him in all you... What? Never ki kill... Is that a thing? Can they, can they do that? Can they kill me off? Why would they kill me off? Has anyone... I didn't know I could be killed off. Is this Dan the Man's idea? Has Dan the Man been talking to you, Brandon? X? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm not... This is not what I signed up for. Um... Well, anyway, if you've got any more comments... Uh, I guess you can you can let me know uh, but I really like the comments where people say that they're a big fan of me that's that's what it's all about for me Barry Steak Fries and uh, it's been great chatting it's been great chatting fans I am uh, very thrilled to be here and still be alive and not killed off so uh, whew, guess I'll see you next time thanks fans Barry out